How to troubleshoot and fix your Cox router. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to discuss a common issue many of us face, a misbehaving Cox router. But don't worry, we'll go through some effective troubleshooting steps that should get your Cox router working properly again. We'll highlight key steps to make this process easier for you. Is it a power issue? First, you should verify whether the issue is related to power supply or not. Turn off your Cox router and unplug it from the power source. Wait for about a minute, then plug it back in and turn it on. Wait for all the lights to come back on. This process is often referred to as power cycling, and it can resolve many common issues. Are all cables properly connected? Next, check if all the cables are properly connected. Inspect the cables connecting the router to your modem and any devices. Make sure everything is plugged in securely and that there are no physical damages to the cables or the ports on your router. Is it a Wi-Fi signal issue? Sometimes, the problem could be due to the Wi-Fi signal. If your devices are having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi, try moving closer to the router. If this resolves the issue, then the problem could be signal strength. To improve this, consider relocating your router to a more centralized location or reducing signal interference by keeping it away from other electronic devices. Are there issues with router settings? If none of the above steps work, it might be an issue with the router settings. Reset your router to its factory settings. There's usually a small reset button on the back of your router. You'll need a paper clip or something similar to press it. Hold it down for about 10 seconds and then release. This will erase all of your settings, so you'll need to set up your router again. And that wraps up our guide on how to troubleshoot your Cox router. Remember, if none of these steps work, it might be time to contact Cox's customer support or consider getting a new router. We hope this has been helpful and your internet connection is back and running smoothly. Thanks for tuning in.